Hey guys, what is up? This is Barat here, bringing you another video. And it's been a while since I've made a video, and I sincerely, sincerely apologize for that. Over the course of us not uploading, we found newer and better ideas to use in our videos, so you guys can look forward to those. But today I'm going to talk about the recent changes that Blizzard released about Warriors. These patch notes are for Warriors or Draenor, and they haven't happened yet, and they also can change over time. The game is only in alpha, so of course they're going to change a little bit. So Warriors didn't get as many nerfs as I thought they would, some of the changes that I'm actually happy about. Most of them were needed, but as, as of right now, I'm really happy about the changes. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start talking about these changes. I'll add a link in the description so that you guys can read them, you guys can look at them, however you guys want to. If you want to, you're welcome to, as you will. But feel free to comment on your thoughts of these changes. I want to know what you guys are thinking, alright? So they are making both Battle Shout and Commanding Shout last an hour, but they don't generate rage anymore. Now before we could use these in combat to generate 20 extra rage, and having it last an hour, that was pretty nice. Kind of wish it still generated rage, but it is what it is. It isn't a huge nerf and it won't affect as, as much as other nerfs could. Berserker Stanch has been removed. This is okay because no one uses it. I wish they found a use for it instead of taking it out though. They could have done some other things they wanted to with it. Uh, cleave has also been removed as well. This may be a nerf for Warriors in PvE. I'm not that sure because I play PvE more. Um, also in PvP, Heroic Strike was better to use over Cleave at any time. They are also taking out Demoralizing Banner too. Demoralizing Banner allowed us to place it down and either intervene to it or use it as a defensive. This is because it would reduce the amount of damage the enemy did by 10%. Of course, they had to be in range of the banner to reduce their damage by 10%, but most of the time we used it to intervene to it. Now here is a really good buff for us. Hamstring is now added as a passive effect. This effect is added to Mortal Strike, Bloodthirst, Revenge, and Raging Blow. Hamstring will still reduce the target speed by 50%. This is kind of making it easier to slow people, but look at it this way. Hamstring will not cost any rage now, so this is making this is making it a really good buff for us because it's going to be applied by those four abilities. Rallying Cry is no longer for Prot Warriors. This is okay. Uh, Prot Warriors won't have anything to help the raid, but they will be able to help themselves with Last Stand, and it was also a bit better for Prot Warriors. Re Recklessness is now only available for Fury and Arms Warriors. This is okay too, looks like they want to make it so tanks are tanks and not a DPS class. Uh, Skull Banner has been removed, this is not a nerf, this is just something they added within the patch notes. I will get into this a little bit later, a lot of people are probably gasping right now, it's okay, I'll talk about it in just a bit. Throw has been removed. This is okay too, Blizzard is trying to get rid as as many abilities as they can. So they're trying to get rid of pointless ones. They're making it so we have less keybinds. Thunderclap is no longer available to Fury Warriors. I'm not sure why they are doing this. Um, I think it's just to take away some of the AoE that Fury has. And Whirlwind is only available to Fury Warriors. This must be why they took out Thunderclap though. Because uh, they didn't want them to have a ton of AoE because Fury Warriors need Whirlwind. While Prot and Arms really didn't need it. Charge is being changed. I think all of us kind of knew this was going to happen. Charge no longer stuns. It roots, except for Warbringer. Warbringer used to root. Now Warbringer is going to stun instead of root. Um, this is so Warriors don't have a 20 second stun. They have a 20 second charge stun now. We don't have a 12 second one anymore. This is okay. Warriors, ha that having a 12 second stun right now is very overpowered because you can interrupt a heal or interrupt a polymorph or something. So it's very overpowered that that is right there now. They have removed all disarm. They just want to get rid of some CCs. No classes have a disarm ability anymore, so this is okay. It's not like they're just nerfing warriors for this. They have also changed all fears in the game. Now they last for 6 seconds instead of 8 seconds. This is okay too, as long as it it's all fears and not just for warriors. It's okay. Now I'm going to go into the skull banner nerf that I talked about a little bit earlier. 
Skull Banner added too much damage. It added too much damage for everybody. Skull Banner was something that was helped everybody that was in your raid or everybody that was in your group. So Blizzard didn't want to nerf it for warriors. They wanted to make it so no one else could use the Skull Banner. So they combined Skull Banner and Recklessness. This is so warriors can still benefit from it. But there still is a small nerf with it. Recklessness now will increase critical strike chance by 15%. This is down from 30%. And it will now increase critical strike damage by 10%. This is up from 0%. That critical strike damage is from the Skull Banner. That's where it was added into. But let's go into a little bit of math. Skull Banner used to increase critical strike damage by 20%. So they nerfed it down a bit. Now it's going to be critical strike damage by 10%. So they cut it in half. Which is alright. I mean, Recklessness is getting a little bit of nerf. But uh, in the long run, other classes are getting nerfs nerfs too, so this probably won't hurt us as bad as some other nerfs. Shattering Throw will no longer reduce the armor of the player hit by it, and it will only take away immunities. But it is now a glyph. It's not an ability learned. You have to have the glyph to learn it. This kind of sucks for us because we need it. We need it to get rid of immunities like Ice Block or Divine Shield from a Paladin, but we have to think about it too. Sometimes we might not even need the glyph. We might not even be playing against a paladin. We might not be even playing against a mage. So we might not need it. Um, so it isn't really a big nerf, but it may hurt us at some times. And they also wanted to fix haste for us. This is good. We couldn't use haste. A lot. For this whole expansion, haste had no point for us. We couldn't use it. So what they did is they added a new passive called Headlong Rush. Haste reduces a global cooldown and the cooldowns of Mortal Strike, Bloodthirst, Shield Slam, and Thunderclap. This could potentially be really good for Warriors. Having infinite Mortal Strikes could lead us to infinite Rage. This could be cool to work with a bit. Also a small nerf that they are adding for Warriors. This is very small. Mortal Strike will last 15 seconds on a target. That's a plus, but it'll last, it'll be on the target until that 15 seconds is gone or until the player it is on is healed all the way up to max health so it could take and be taken off so having this extra haste having infinite mortal strikes could be really nice to keep that mortal strike bleed on everybody on everybody called deep wounds having infinite mortal strikes or infinite thunderclaps could lead to more bleed ticks and harder for the healer to heal the characters up so we have to think about this haste new passive. We need to work with it and see if it's good. If we can have enough haste to where the point that we can have infinite mortal strike, it could be good. Or maybe even have mortal strike on like a one second or two second cooldown would, would be very nice. So second wind has been changed to a leech effect now. Second wind was way too overpowered in some cases and sometimes it was way too underpowered. So they wanted to change it. In order for us to be healed from it, we have to be getting healed and be doing damage. But being healed has to be healed from the warrior, if that makes sense. It's kind of confusing. Let me go into this for a little bit. This is so warriors don't run in LOS and get healed from their second win and just survive. So now we will heal for 10% of the damage done and the healing done by the warrior. So this healing done isn't from a healer healing us. This healing done is by the warrior. I'm not really sure how this leech effect will work by the healing part of it. I don't know if we can use a bandage to heal ourselves or a potion and that will add to it or if it'll be like how fury warriors they use bloodthirst to damage and they can get healed from that i don't know if that's what they're trying to imply with it but that 10 percent of the damage done can help us but this also can allow us to look at the other healing talents as well some of those healing talents were pretty good i don't know if they're going to change those as well but this will kind of make it so warriors aren't just using second win which is kind of cool. I like how they're doing that. Now, this video has already been about 10 minutes or so, maybe even longer. And I want to spread this out a little bit because there is a lot of changes for Warriors. There's a lot of changes for other classes, but I really want to specifically talk about Warriors. And I left out a lot of things. I left out a lot of things about Prot Warriors. I apologize for that. Um, but I want to go into those other changes in another video. So this is going to be part one of the changes, 
there might be two or three parts. Most, most likely there will be two. I don't know if there will be three or not. But if you guys enjoy this video, please hit that like button. It lets us know that you like this video. helps us out. lets us know that we're doing a very good job um, at making our videos. Because that's really what we do. We try to work very hard on every single video. Also, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I want to see what you guys are thinking as well as what I'm thinking. Um, any comments you guys leave, I will respond to it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I read every single comment. Um, also, if you really love this video, please subscribe. Let us know that you love us as much as we do. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Hope you guys enjoyed the background footage as well. See you guys in the next one. Once again, hope you enjoy the video.